Hi, Crumblers. Welcome back to another episode of the Crumble Mumble podcast. So excited to have you here and even more excited for the guest that we have today. You've seen her videos over and over again. She has hundreds of thousands of followers on TikTok and she's been making videos for Crumble for who knows how long, forever. <laughs> today we have Nicole Axelrod. Nicole, Hi. so excited that you're here. I can't believe you're like a real person. That's how I feel with you guys. This is wild. <laughs> really. It's so fun because we've seen your videos over and over you're one of our top reviewers and now you're well, here thank you HQ. thank you for having me oh seriously course. i'm of so course. excited okay well tell us a little bit about yourself what are you up to where are you from you yeah know, give the people some information so i am originally from the atlanta area atlanta georgia Woo. Nice. um but right now i live in uh the greenville south carolina area cool so uh we moved out there about a year ago and then um I was going to school for a little while, kind of changed paths when I got into social media. Mm -hmm. um, so now I'm just kind of, you know, taking it step by step and uh, I like to do a little bit of everything. So just staying busy. That's so awesome. <laughs> so cool. How long ago did you make your first Crumble Cookies video? Do you remember how long ago it was? It was April of 2021. Okay, so which like a sounds year and a like, half ago. That doesn't even sound like that much time, but literally it's like a year and a half. It's a year and a half. And wild. In crumble years, crumble's turning five this week, right? It's our birthday week right. this week. I mean, that's almost a fourth of crumble's lifetime. Like, that's more than a fourth <laughs> of crumble's lifetime. Like, it's you've been around crazy. for a good chunk of that, which is which is awesome. Well, I'm thankful too because I've gotten to see a lot of the like the evolution of crumble too. Mm -hmm. So many mm -hmm. cookies have drastically changed, and yes. I've gotten to see that, which is really really special. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, gotten to see lots of really good flavors. Totally, and something I really love about your video specifically is you're always just like very honest about Thank how you, you feel about the cookies, which I love because that's something we've talked about this multiple times on this podcast. That's something we really value at Crumble is people giving their opinions, you know, whether they're negative or positive. Sure. And you always, you know, you always have either, you know, positive or negative or whatever you think, like you right. just say it. Well, which I appreciate you saying that because yeah. obviously, you know, <laughs> coming from a Crumble standpoint, I'm always a little bit, um, not afraid to be honest. I love to be mm -hmm. honest with everybody. And I think that my, my audience appreciates me being honest, but you know, I hate to tear anything down. So I always try to do it in a nice way. <laughs> in a soft, but like, sugary way. <laughs> yeah. But I'm, every now and again, a cookie, you know, it's not, not my favorite. <laughs> yeah, which is okay, because that's the point, right? Like that's exactly. why we have so many cookie flavors. And it also, again, is so helpful to hear from people what they actually think about the cookies. Because like you said, we take that back and we redevelop recipes. Right. So like as you've been with Crumble, you know, for a year and a half now posting mm -hmm. reviews, you've probably seen cookies come back and they may maybe taste a little different or look a little different. Yes, I have. Know? And it's really cool too when you see a cookie that you didn't necessarily love the first time mm -hmm. and then you try it again and then you're like, oh wow, I, I taste what they did, you know? <laughs> they got it together. <laughs> yes, I like it. I love that. So did your first video for Crumble, did the first video go viral? from the beginning or was it like you did it for a while and then it picked up speed? No, that? the first video was like, I I had had one video uh, in my entire TikTok career, car quote unquote career, <laughs> that um, did well when I first started just making videos for my friends. Mm -hmm. It was just a random video. And then, um, so I was like, wow, TikTok is awesome. So I decided to make a review when I, I saw one other person on TikTok do it before me. Okay, so you'd only seen one. I'd seen one person do it. Okay. And I was like, I, I looked up Crumble on like on a Google search and I was mm -hmm. just like, is there one near me? I need to find out. Wait, so you had never been? I'd never been. Oh. It was my very first time to Crumble. So your first review was, was your first time ever trying Crumble. Ever. Ever. <laughs> we both stuttered. It's we okay. both did. <laughs> first time ever trying Crumble ever. First time ever. Wow. Yeah. I had I didn't know that. So literally you okay. see my my honest first ever reaction to Crumble was my yeah. very first video, which is why I think that it did well mm -hmm. right off the bat mm -hmm. was because people immediately saw, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I like cookies. You know what yes. I'm saying? Like, I like hope so. <laughs> and so I think that people saw that and then they were like, oh wow, like, you know, cool flavors, mm -hmm. interesting concept for the business. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I had a genuine reaction for something that I thought was really good. Yeah, it was very and authentic. So yeah. I think that people really just um, saw that and recognized it, which I think is crazy. I'd posted it for my friends, just like <laughs> literally like my like 10 friends on TikTok. <laughs> and uh, a lot of people saw it and 
here we are now. That's so cool. So did you, did you post it at like night and then you woke up and you had all these notifications or was it just like how, I want to know what that experience was like. Yeah. Having like a crumble (laughs) video go viral. Like what was that like? Yeah. So the first video I remember actually I tried to go on a Sunday and then I realized that crumble is closed on Sundays. Yes, closed on Sundays. Yeah. And so I went back another day okay. to try them. Uh, and I posted the video kind of like middle of the day like I normally do. Um, and when I tried them, I was just like, I'm just gonna edit it real quick, you know, whatever, post it, it wasn't a big deal because yeah. I was just posting it for my friends. Yeah. And then uh, throughout the day I was refreshing and I'm like, man, this has like thousands of likes. Like, why are people watching this? <laughs> Genuinely, I'm like, why are people watching this content? But now I see the value in it because mm-hmm. I watch other people do it and I love it. There you go. Yeah. So genuinely, I'm like, I, I get it. And some of mm-hmm. my some of my now friends on TikTok, I had seen do food reviews before I ever got into food reviews. Mm-hmm. And I loved the content. And so yeah. now I see it in a, in a different way. And I'm like, oh, wow, I, I love that. Because you're on the other side of it now. You're the one right. doing the reviews. You're doing the content. Which is wild. Yeah. And I think Crumble is really unique um, because, again, we have a new menu every week. Right. Right. And so it is this like surprise. What is going to be this week? What are the flavors? And we we usually try to have at least one new flavor every week. I think we've Mm -hmm. had a new flavor every week for like a year, a year and a half. So as long as you. Which is awesome. Yeah. (laughs) Right. And so like old favorites will come back. Old, maybe not favorites will come back. Yeah. But then new ones will also be there. And so it's always, you know, the compilation within the box is always a surprise. Right. It's always cool to see, you know. What people think. What what, comes up and yeah. Yeah, exactly. I love it. Honestly, and that's one reason why I think that Crumble has done so well is because who doesn't love pulling up the page on Sunday night and like seeing what all comes up on the menu? Mm -hmm. Like everybody loves that moment where you have to like go refresh the page and then like there's the new menu. Yeah. Like keeps you on your toes. Yeah, right. Which I like. Anticipation. We call it hype cycle marketing is what we've called it. I love that. Where it's like, you know, it's that because people like you know, fashion brands do this, designer shoe brands, I guess not even designer shoes, just shoe brands do this, mm-hmm. right? Where they'll have these drops. Right. We just happen to do it every single week. <laughs> Which is, I'm sure, a whole lot for you guys, Which but it's worth fun. it, obviously. Yeah, you know? and it's like, so fun. It's just a fun thing to be a yeah. part of, as you've seen, yeah. right? As you've seen. <laughs> so in the TikTok sphere, in the TikTok, spa- or TikTok space, like how have you seen Crumble grow in general? Like have you, cause you had more intel into that Oh, yeah. Than most people, right? Like, you have yeah. TikTok friends, also, you know, friends mm-hmm. who are creators. Like, have you seen Crumble gain more of a presence across, I mean, across the board, obviously? Absolutely. But how yes. have you seen that, like, manifest itself? I mean, it was crazy, truly. Like I said, when I had started this, one person, I, I had ever, I'd only seen one person do a Crumble yeah, review. which is crazy to me. Right, I know. They and know. now it's yeah. like, you refresh your For You page and it's like, review, review. <laughs> like, it's like yes. everybody does it every week. Yes. Um, and so... I feel like I have this like network now of friends Mm -hmm. who do crumble reviews Mm -hmm. that like, you know, I can just, I I chat with, I send videos to, we talk, we do all these things together virtually because we're all far apart across the nation. Yeah. 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 But it really is now this like network of people who like love and support crumble Yeah, and who just want to try the flavors every week. That's so awesome. It's gotten to be huge, which is just it's so cool. It's so fun. Yeah. And we are, we are so glad that you're a part of it. Cause you've been such, again, well, thank just you. all across the board. You're honest, you're authentic, you're fun and entertaining to watch. Thank you and so much. We, just, we love seeing your videos every single week. So well, I'm glad you're I here love, now. I love making them. Good. You know? <laughs> a mutually beneficial relationship. Yeah. <laughs> Literally every Monday I'm like driving. Cause I drive every week. Um, it's 40 minutes each way. What? To my crumble. I also didn't know that. Yeah. So you do that every single week. Yeah, because I, I started doing them actually oh when I lived gosh. in the Atlanta area. Yeah. And the closest crumble was like five minutes from my house. Love that. And then when I moved to the Greenville area, mm-hmm. I realized that it was a little far, but I'm like, you know what? The people need it. I need it in my <laughs> life. So we're going to drive for it. It's a necessity. We got to get a crumble near you, girl. We'll get one soon. Please I'm do. hoping. Please do. We're opening stores all the time. So hopefully one will come a little bit closer, right? Maybe Every we can week cut I that check. down to like 20 minutes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Please. Yes. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Okay. Um, last question. Again, hardest question that I ask anyone here. Okay. What is your favorite crumble cookie flavor? You know, this is a question that I get pretty much every day of my life oh, and it has heavens. never changed this flavor it was there the very first week that so i in ever your tried first review this this cookie was there yes okay and this cookie is peanut butter and jelly 
Okay. Is Peanut my, butter and yes. jelly. Okay. Yes. Yep. Wow. That one is a fan favorite. <laughs> that one I feel like has, we have certain cookies that kind of have a cult following mm-hmm. where people love crumble, but they love these certain cookies yes. like so much. And that's one of them. <laughs> that's, we have like huge fan base for the peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. What's well, crazy yeah. too, because this cookie has changed throughout, you know, mm-hmm. I want to say the years, but like year and a half that I've been trying crumble. Yeah. Um, and I am always an advocate for like the original like the one okay. that I first tried. Yes. And then it actually, uh, when we had a mystery cookie, mm-hmm. um, I think it was like a month or two ago yeah. for one of my mystery cookie flavors, we had P- PB&J at my store. Oh, no way. And it was like the only store like in like 500 miles that had this cookie. Stop the universe. And Just literally the universe you. said, here you go. <laughs> he so said, thank you. And it was like the original. So. Oh, that's so great. Life we have, place. We have done reiterations of that, right? Because yeah. the original, the one that you tried, is it the one with it swirled? It was the swirl, on the but top. the one that I tried had like the jelly in the middle and then like the peanut butter around it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Which is basically the same thing. You know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, yeah. Because we did turn it into like a, uh, we called it the peanut butter jam witch. Yes, you did. For a while where it was a sandwich. Mm-hmm. People did not love it. <laughs> I didn't love it. So we switched it back. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we switched it back. Thank you. Which, which again, <laughs> the opinions, you know, negative, positive, they yeah. help us make the cookies better. So we always appreciate that. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Nicole, any last words for the people? Anything else you want to say? Thank you for this wild journey. I mean, I I couldn't do what I do without everybody who supports and follows mm-hmm. my page. So mm-hmm. thank you guys. And thank you, Crumble. You guys are always so supportive of, of what I do as well. Um, so yeah, here's to hopefully... Lots of more reviews. Lots more cookies. <laughs> more That's cookies. all we can hope for. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much, Nicole. We will see you guys on the next episode. Bye. Bye. Thank you.